Next bit of software that I want to show you is a is a very useful little tool called Movavi Online Screen Capture. Okay, so I'm just quickly loading it, and then I'll show you how it works. Right, so. Okay. Right, so if you look at my screen, you'll see suddenly there's this orange block on my screen. Okay, what Movavi Screen Capture does that's quite nice is it's a very, very straightforward um, bit of software. You, once you open it up, it'll give you a certain size for your screen. You can adjust it to whatever you want. If we want to record only a small portion of my screen, we can do it like that. Select the area that you want to record um, in any way that you in any way that you want to. You can set your um, you see you have your microphone enabled. You can disable your system audio if you want to make sure there's no other strange sounds that happen. So in other words, if you click on something and there's a little bleep, someone sends you a message and there's a ping. If you click on um, system audio, it will deactivate the system audio, and then you simply activate your microphone and you record anything any area of the screen that you want to record. This works very well if you use um, something that I enjoy using, of course, slides. Slides does not have a record feature built into it, right? So if you enjoy using something like slides, um, let's open up something like that. So now I can adjust my window to the size that I want my window to be if I say present obviously it'll go the window will open up large and then I can simply click and drag this whole thing to be the size of the entire screen if I want it to be the size of the entire screen what is very useful about um, or something that I enjoy about Movavi is the fact that very often when you're presenting something in a screen in a, in, a, in a browser, for example, we don't want the top ribbon as part of what we display. So this is very useful in the sense that I can go and I can set up my ribbon to only display the website itself. So now it excludes my start bar and it excludes my top ribbon. It only shows what's happening in the window. And in this way, I can easily describe how different how different um, applications, etc., work. So this works very well if you're trying to explain something in Excel or if you're trying to explain something in Google Sheets or if you're trying to explain something that does not have an automatic recording feature built into it. Something, um, for example, that works quite um, that works quite well in this sense is if we use an app, a Google app called Jamboard. Now, just give me a second. I just want to. Open it on my phone quickly as well. Right, so if we use something like Jamboard, what is quite nice with Jamboard is I can connect with my, I can connect it um, on my laptop and I can connect it on my phone. So when I'm doing something on my phone, it will display. As you see there, that displays on my Lap on my laptop. So in other words, if you have a stylus, you can quite easily um, use this to create something that is similar to working on a whiteboard where you where you are generating text like this, right? So um, it takes a while to get used to to get used to the system. Um, if you want to display it even larger than that, we can open it up like this. So now what you can do essentially just to just to show you what it is that I am doing over here. And again, this the application is called Jamboard. So just to show you my video again, if you see over here, I've opened I've opened up the application on my phone. So now I can go to different parts on my phone. I can write certain things on my phone. So here we go and we um, I want to zoom in quickly. Where am I now? Right. So, um, yeah, I am on my phone using this using this Jamboard now. 
So here I can write 1 plus 2 equals 4 as an example. And then, and I know 1 plus 2 does not equal 4, so now I can just say, look, that is actually wrong. Please take note of that. While on the screen, what is being displayed Right on the screen, what's being displayed is everything that I'm writing here is being displayed now. And I've got my Movali screen capture activated, so I can press record. And in this way, I can essentially use my phone together with my laptop to create a video. Now, this is a bit more complicated procedure, but something that I think is very useful about this going forward um, what, as, as a presentation tool as well. Remember, you can connect your laptop to your data projector and then walk around with your phone and make and, and, and make annotations on your phone, which will then appear on your um, on your whiteboard in front of the class, which is a very cool presentation tool to keep in mind as well. Um, it's not a bad time to learn how this tool works. So there's, this is just another example of what one can do. So all of this, I could have just pressed record, just to show you quickly here, Mavav gives me a countdown, and then here yeah, I'm recording my video that, I've, that I want to create um, on my phone it won't show what that I'm using my phone at the moment I can just start creating my one plus four equals five two plus three equals five and then if I want to say one plus four plus two plus three what does that equal I can say we're using these things, we, that arrow there, and we use the, um, another arrow comes over there. It is actually equal to 10. As an example, please note, I'm not writing with a stylus, so this is all being written by, with my finger on my phone. Um, it actually writes quite well, if you could keep that in mind. So um, a useful tool. Again, same story with Movavi. You can pause it if you want to pause what you're doing. You can um, take a quick screenshot if you want to, but we want to stop. Once we stop, it is now going to render my video. I can go and play back my video, see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm recording my video that I, that I want to create um, on my phone. Obviously, that's the point to show what, that I'm using my phone at the moment. I can just start creating my one plus four equals five plus three. Right. So we don't need to go through the whole video again, but I think you get the idea. Just bear in mind, because we are using free products, um, unfortunately, the minute that you want to start using the full features, you need to start paying for the products. You will have this little blocky in the corner, free online screen recorder. And the only way to take that away